Introduction We have already discussed characteristics, types, modifications and functions of roots, stems and leaf. Now we will study inflorescence. Objectives At the end of this lesson you will be able to Define inflorescence Find out types of inflorescence Study racemose inflorescence Study chymose inflorescence Understand types of chymose inflorescence Study solitary chyme Understand monocasial chyme Study dicasial chyme Understand polycasial chyme Study special types of inflorescences Study scyanthium Understand verticillaster. Find out hypanthotium. The inflorescence. The arrangement of flowers on a specialized branch on top of the plant, which bears flowers, is called inflorescence. The axis of the inflorescence is known as peduncle. Sometimes the flowers are born singly. Such arrangement is said to be solitary. When the flowers are born on the tips of branches or main stem, then it is solitary terminal. Example, poppy. When the flowers are born in axil of a foliage leaf, then it is called as solitary axillary. Example, petunia, hibiscus, rosa sinensis. Types of inflorescence. There are three main types of inflorescence. Racemose inflorescence, chymose inflorescence, special types of inflorescences. Racemose inflorescence. In racemose inflorescence, the main axis is capable of continuous growth and it does not end in a flower. The flowers show acropetal succession on the main axis. The older flowers are towards the base and younger flowers are towards the apex. Sometimes the main axis becomes shortened and the flowers become clustered. In such cases the flowers are said to show centripetal succession. Here older flowers are towards the margin and younger flowers are towards the center. Chymose inflorescence. In chymose inflorescence, the main axis ends in a flower since the peduncle stops growing. The flowers show bessipetal succession. The oldest flower is at the apex and the youngest towards the base. When the flowers are clustered, the arrangement is said to be centrifugal. Here, the oldest flower is at the center and younger flowers are towards the margin. There are different types of chymose inflorescence. Solitary chyme, monocasial chyme, dicasial chyme, polycasial chyme. Solitary chyme. This is the simplest type of chymose inflorescence where there is only one single flower. The flower may be terminal on a short peduncle or it may be axillary in position. Example, Thespesia. Monocasial chyme. In this type of inflorescence, the peduncle ends in a flower. Subsequently, one branch of the peduncle develops at a lower level and ends in a flower. This type of branching is repeated. If the branches are produced on the same side, the inflorescence is said to be a monocasial helicoid chyme. Example, Hamelia drosera. If the branches are produced alternately in a zigzag manner, the inflorescence is called a monocasial scorpioid chyme. Example, Heliotropium. Dicasial chyme. In this type of chymose inflorescence, the peduncle produces a flower at its tip. Subsequently, 
the peduncle produces two branches simultaneously at a lower level. They also end in flowers. This type of branching is repeated. If the inflorescence has only three flowers, where the central flower is the oldest and the side ones are younger, it is called a simple dicasial chyme. Example, jasmine. If the inflorescence is branched, it is called a compound dicasial chyme. Example, clerodendron, rhytia. Polycasial chyme. In this type of inflorescence, the main axis ends in a flower. Subsequently, the peduncle produces many branches and each branch ends in a flower. The flowers show centrifugal arrangement. Example, Homelia. Special types of inflorescences. Some plants exhibit special types of inflorescence. These are the following types. Chiathium, Verticillaster, Hypanthodium. Chiathium. Here the inflorescence is highly reduced. It has a cup shaped receptacle formed by the fusion of five bracts. On the surface of this cup, generally a yellow colored nectar secreting gland is present. A single female flower arises from the center of the cup. It is highly reduced and is borne on a long stalk. The male flowers are highly reduced and are produced in scorpioid manner from the axil of each bract. Example Euphorbia pulcherima Verticillaster Verticillaster is a special type of inflorescence seen in leucus. At each node of the stem, two axillary opposite chymose inflorescences develop on either side. Hypanthodium In this type of inflorescence, the receptacle becomes spherical with a cavity inside. It opens to the outside with a small opening. Numerous small sessile flowers are produced from the inner surface of the receptacle. These flowers are of three types, male flowers, female flowers, and sterile female flowers, gal flowers, example, ficus. Did you know, largest Indian inflorescence is Amorphophallus. Largest inflorescence of the world is Piva Raimondi, 32 feet. Petaloid bract is found in Bougainvillea. Synanthium is open hypothandium. Summary Let us summarize what we have learned. The flowers are arranged in different types of inflorescences. Inflorescence axis is called peduncle. Edible part of cauliflower is inflorescence. Synchronous is a composite or multiple fruit Develops from hypanthodium inflorescence. In pineapple, ananas, and jackfruit, autocarpus, rachis, bracts, and perianth are used for eating. Verticillaster type of inflorescence is found in osimum. Simple cluster of radial leaves with extipulate and parallel venation and chyme or umbel inflorescence are the characteristics of liliaceae. In family graminae, inflorescence is spikelet.